All right, in this video I'm going to be tying the partridge and peacock. This is my take on a fairly traditional soft tackle fly. I like using this fly on the Econ Lock Hatchy on years where we have good runs and the fish end up uh, upstream of Snow Hill Road. That water can be shallow and clear and when the fish school up they can get spooky. Uh, so it's best to scale down in size and go with something more natural looking uh, rather than a big flashy fly. In the vise I have a size 10 nymph hook and I will be tying this fly with uh, some ADOT uni and a dark brown. So I'm going to start my thread about two eye lengths behind the eye and then bring my thread down to the tip. Then go, go ahead and snip away your excess thread. For the body I'm going to be using eye stub and a UV peacock eye. You can certainly use natural peacock curl um, but you'll find a, a dubbed body to be more durable. I also just like the flash of this uh, UV dubbing. So I'm just going to build a little dubbing noodle onto my thread and then just start to wrap the body. I don't have to worry too much about taper here. Um, but I do like a nice ball right up towards the eye. That'll help get your hackle to stand. Give you that nice umbrella shape. So a little bit more than that right at the end. Just kind of build up a nice ball there. Something about like that. For the hackle I'm going to be using some Hungarian partridge. Uh, I love this. You get, I don't know, four or five different types of feathers uh, all in one skin. <clears throat> so I've selected a hackle. I'm going to go ahead and prepare it by stripping off all the fluff and some of the longer um, barbs at the end of the feather. Okay, I've prepared my hackle and I'm going to go ahead and tie that in with the tip and you want the the curve of the feather down. Just give her a bobbin a little spin and capture that tip. A couple loose turns. It wants to roll on you, that's alright. Just bring it back up to the top of the hook and then advance your thread towards the eye. And then you just want to bend that tip back. and capture it and return back to the hackle. You got a good good grip on that feather. I'm just going to trim off that tip. Go ahead and grab my hackle pliers. And gently lift the hackle, and wet my fingers, and then just begin to stroke the barbs back. And then take a couple of wraps. Just continue stroking the barbs back as you wrap. and then I'll just strip away the barbs at the end of the feather that I won't need. It just makes it a little easier to capture. And then just get two good wraps there and snip away our excess. I'm just going to build up a thread base. Uh, you certainly could just 
uh, whip finish here and fish this just the way it is, traditional style. Um, however, where I fish this on the Econ River above Snow Hill, there can be a lot of timber in the water, uh, so it's snag city. So it's a, not a bad idea to tie some with some bee chain as well. That's primarily what I fish up there. So I'm just going to tie on some black bee chain. And you just want to be careful not to capture any of those barbs. It can be easier said than done. Flip it over and build some shoulders around those eyes. And then cinch it down. And then we'll just whip finish. You may find it easier when you're just starting to actually whip finish behind the bead chain eyes, but just be careful when you do that not to capture any of those barbs. Just go ahead and snip away our thread. And that is the Partridge and Peacock. A really successful fly for me on the years when uh, the shad make it above Snow Hill Road great fly in that clear water. Enjoy!